Good morning. Welcome to Quest Bites. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. I cannot believe it. I'm your host, Corinne Cahill. Thank you for joining me this morning. Today, we are going to be creating a leak-proof bag, and it is so cool. You're going to want to try this for sure, but first, we have to play Spot the Quapple to give us our friends some more time to join us this morning. I will put 30 seconds on the clock, or I will restart the clock for you. There are five quapples in this picture. The quapple, of course, is our education logo in the bottom left corner of your screen, the apple with the quest Q in it. So if you're able to find them, let me know. Again, there's five in here, about 15 seconds left. Are you able to spot one, maybe two? I see them, about five, four, three, two, one. It froze there. Here's the answer. Five quapples hidden across the backpacks and one on this girl's pants. If you found them, great job. If you didn't, no worries. Just be here right at 9.30 tomorrow. We're actually playing Spot the Differences tomorrow, not Spot the Quapple. Of course, there's going to be a Quapple in there. There always is. That's tomorrow at 9.30. Just make sure you're here right in, on time so you can get in on the fun. For today's lesson, though, we are going to be making the leak proof bags. So what are you gonna need? You will need quart size Ziplocs, water, and sharpened pencils. Easy enough. This is what we're making up here. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna tell you how this works. Why, is not, why isn't the water coming out of the bag when I stick pencils through it? Well, that's because plastic bags are flexible because they contain long chains of molecules that bend and flex, called polymer chains. If they didn't have those, they'd be hard and inflexible. Since those chains are so flexible, when you pierce your bag with pencils, the, the chains will flex around the pencil, creating a tight seal. But when you move, remove those pencils, those polymer chains can't move enough to fill the holes back, so the water escapes in a pretty fun fountain. But you can see the hole that the pencil left behind, and that's what's going to happen when we stick our pencils into our bags and then pull them back out. The tight seal that these chains make is what prevents that water from escaping while the pencils are still through the bag. So let's watch to see how this is done. See, I stuck one pencil in there and a little water will escape. Um, that's just because it's, it moves pretty swiftly and it can just slide down the pencil. But there's a lot of water in that bag and none of it, not, not very much of it is escaping. So that's pretty cool. You can see I have five pencils in there and barely any water getting out of the bag. I just love looking at this because it just seems so fun. So let's get to the even more fun part, getting to pull the pencils out of the bag. As I'm breaking my polymer chains, you can see that immediate reaction. You will want to try this outside or over a sink or a bucket because you don't want all of this water to get on the floor inside. But Pretty cool to see my fun water fountain. And you can see the holes that the pencils left behind. Broken polymer chains. But pretty cool to see those chains in action when those pencils stuck through the bag. Can you think of other things that have polymer chains that would not leak when you stuck pencils into it? Don't go sticking pencils into things at home, okay? Just the bag. So we will put the instructions in the comments so you can try this lesson. I hope you learned something today about polymer chains. I know I did. Join us tomorrow because we are going to have a series of explosions. We all like explosions. This week we've learned a lot about baking soda, but is it the same as baking powder? Similar names, similar look. We will show you the differences tomorrow at 930. Just be here right then, right here on Quest for Success Facebook page. Until next time, continue onward with your quest for knowledge and thanks for watching.